rather undid with that home defeat against the Scarlets. But that has just increased the importance as that ball is fumbled forward by Breve. It's just really raised the stakes for tonight. The difference between a five-point win and a four-point win at the end of six games could make all the difference in this pool. You can just see a little bit of uh, frustration creeping in now. McKay, the centre, not happy with that. There he is, Lachlan McKay. The second season in France after the switch from Western Force. Well, the toss judge over on this side just coming in for a word. Kick out and strike an opponent deliberately. This player here? Yes. Okay. And what's your recommendation? Recommendations are red card. Against the replacement hooker here? Yes. Definitely. Well, it looks Thank like Guillaume Reeb is going to be shown a red card here. The report against you is a kick and a strike out, and it's a red card. And there it is for a kick and a strike out. According to George Clancy, spotted by the touch judge over on this side. Simon McDowell it was who saw that. Well, we saw the punch there on Danny Kutsia, didn't we? We definitely saw the punch. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. But whether it was uh, Ribe... A pretty ugly incident in this one. This is coming right out of the old school of French mm. rugby. And we think that the uh, touch judge and referee got a little bit confused because Guillaume Reeve, who was sent off, but we've studied the tape, a lot of claret uh, coming there from poor old Kutsia. But uh, Reeve, the man sent off, we reckon it was Arno Meller. Uh, the man who, who actually did the, the punch. Well picked up by Armitage, although he lost the ball in the tackle, and you can see Armitage and Mela. Mackay stepping in, Kurt Sears waving an arm at Pejoin. And this is perhaps where this London Irish team need a bit of leadership. They've almost completed the job here, but they can't afford to do it at a price. I think one of the key men here is Kutsi. He's not happy about that punch, uh, which was given to him a few minutes ago, and he's been running around like a, a madman over the last five minutes. Powerful Irish shot, picked up by Pejuin, Okera, miss pass in the middle, there's Ronnie Kirk. Out to Naomi. Naomi anxious to take what few opportunities he gets. Meanwhile, over on this side of the pitch, for about eight players, Going at it, hammer and tongs. Kinchakish Philly is one of them. Also, there is Palika Eon. And this is what we feared, to be honest, isn't it? Nick Kennedy there, finger pointing, coming from Thibaut Dubarry, making his debut for Brief tonight. Well, let's listen here to what George Clancy has to say. The touch judge is in again. Two black comes and pulls the hair of his opponent. Okay. Okay. After that, then all the players start wrestling. All right. And we started by two black. Yeah, pulling the hair. Okay. okay. What's yeah. your recommendation here? I, I will give two recommendations because the white players also get involved. All right. I've got 16. We also then retaliate. 16. Wrestling yes. on the ground. No problem. So I recommend yellow card to black mm. and also yellow card to 16 here. white. Okay. Yeah. And how do we restart again? So it's the two we hookers. Who are going to go here. off here Against with a yellow? All right, thank you. Danny Kurtz here. You and you. For retaliation. Come here. Both two steel yellows. Let's full explanation two here. Bon Wapo on the left, Kurtz here on the right. You and you. Off you go. And Danny Kurtz here no. has got a very healthy head of hair. And Bon Wapo decided he'd give it a, a yank and a pull there. And that is why he's off the field. He's quite happy with that curtsy, I think. <laughs> he didn't seem too bothered. He was just happy to get his opponent off the field as well. But uh, a bit harsh pulling hair. Who's your captain? So we've got Breve 
down to 13 then. London Irish, 14. And that's how things will be played out for the last eight minutes. Unless, of course, we lose any more.